Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to my channel. For today's vlog, we're going to go with watches. I know this is supposed to be about a sneaker gadget vlog, but I wanted to share with you guys my watch collection because I'll be selling some of them uh, to raise funds for our fund drive to help people who were impacted by the storm in the Philippines. So this is like probably one of the few and last opportunities for me to do a video about my watch collection. So for this episode, I'm going to share with you seven of my favorite pieces. I actually have much more than this, but we'll go over them we'll go over the stories and and hopefully you guys appreciate them and yeah we just enjoy this time together looking at pretty nice watches let's go By the way, before we get started, please do help the channel out by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't physically just look at the screen and do a thumbs up. As in, go down and hit the like button because it really helps the channel a lot. And as you watch this video, I would love to hear from you guys which of the watches that I'm showing today is your favorite and why, okay? So hit the thumbs up and comment which of the watches you love the most. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first watch that I want to share with you guys is one of my most special pieces. This is the Seiko Gundam uh, GMT Spring Drive watch. Now, this is one of the most expensive watches that I've ever bought. And the reason why I got it is because it is linked to an anime series that I loved and I still love to this day, especially when I was younger, of course, that being Gundam. And apart from, from being linked to that particular anime, it also sports some of my favorite colors. It has white, blue, red, and yellow. And to those who live in the Philippines, you guys also know that that is the color of our Philippine flag. Add to that the spring drive movement of Seiko, which I think is the best movement that you can get in a watch today, then you clearly have like a huge winner. I think there are only like a thousand pieces of this watch available in the world. And I'm very fortunate to have this particular piece in my collection. I also have the uh, the tuna versions of this. One is inspired by uh, Char Zaku, the red one. And I also have the green one, which is inspired by your basic generic Zaku. And yeah, this one, absolute stunner of a watch. If you're a geek, if you're an anime fan, this is arguably one of the grails to go after when it comes to watches. From Japan, we go to Swiss watches. The second watch that I want to share with you is my one and only Rolex. So this is the Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller. And the reason why I love this watch is because it is a Rolex that actually fits my wrist. I, I have a chunky wrist. Uh, I have an 8-inch wrist, so it's not that small. And when I tried on the Submariner, and I tried on the Explorer, they were just so small <laughs> and they, it, it really felt off. So I, I was actually on the hunt for a Rolex that would best suit me, my personality and my style. And this one was the one that just, when I first saw it, I fell in love with it. And, and it's a good thing that I was uh, flipping stuff back then and I had some cash and I was saving up. So I finally pulled the trigger and bought this piece. So again, uh, this is my one and only Rolex. This is a Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller. I mean, it's ganda talaga. Take a look at that. And it's, it sits perfect on my 8-inch wrist. Anyway, before we continue, two reminders. If you haven't hit the like button yet, now is the best time to do so. And I will be linking down below to individual videos where I reviewed each watch in detail on my YouTube channel that's focused on watches. Yes, I have a second channel that's all about watches. So I will link in the description box as well as pinned in comments my full review of the Gundam Seiko uh, GMT Spring Drive, my full review of this one which is my Rolex Deep Sea Dweller, and all the other watches I'll be sharing with you guys today. Okay, now the third watch is a recent acquisition. This is inspired by my favorite uh, James Bond of all time. Uh, this generation feel, probably thinks that Daniel Craig is the ultimate James Bond and the older generation probably thinks it's Sean Con Connery. For me, it really is Pierce Brosnan and this well the blue version of this was his watch in I think one I think it was Golden Eye one of the G earlier James Bond movies and it really stuck with me ever since I saw that watch and when I finally had the resources I finally was able to save up 
and I was finally able to get to where I am today and I could actually afford it, I ended up pulling the trigger and buying it. Now, this one has multiple color combinations or options. There's like an all blue one, an all black one. I ended up with this blue and gray or steel version because it just looks really unique and dope and kick-ass and a little bit more manly in my opinion. So that's the reason why I pulled the trigger on this one. So that's the third watch in my collection, the Omega Speedmaster Professional 300M. Now, I really feel that in this day and age, everybody, or at least those who are into tech, okay, at the very least, those who are into tech should have a smartwatch in their watch box or their watch watch arsenal. And when it comes to smartwatches, if you guys know me and if you've watched my uh, tech videos in the past, I really love watches from Huawei. This is the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro, their latest smartwatch, and it is an absolute stunner of a watch. Usually when you think of smartwatches, they look the same, you know what I mean? They, they kind of come in like one shape and they're made from just generic materials. This one has sapphire crystal for the top, which is scratch resistant. It has a titanium watch body and it has a ceramic back case. So all of those things combined, plus the functionalities of a smartwatch, I think makes it one of the best smartwatches that you can get today. Now, of course, as a smartwatch, it comes with all of your smartwatch features. It has notifications, it has messaging, you can connect it to your earphones and listen to music. It has a ton of fitness features, especially for those who rely on smart devices to track their fitness journey. Uh, this one has heart rate monitoring, heart rate alert, blood oxygen, oxygen saturation monitoring, it even has sleep monitoring, stress monitoring, and breathing, cycle tracking, and over a hundred workout modes. It has built-in GPS, water resistance, and it has a stunning 1.39 inch AMOLED display. And it has two weeks of battery life. So when it comes to smartwatches, I've always been really geared towards and I've always been using Huawei smartwatches. So check this one out, the Huawei Smartwatch GT Pro 2. It's available now. I'll link it down below where you guys can buy it. Now the fourth watch in my collection is one of the latest watches that I actually reviewed on my channel. And, and this is the culmination of a, almost a 10 year journey in trying to own one. This is my Panerai. So uh, I first saw Panerais on the wrists of some of my idols in the corporate and executive world. So some of the alpha men in the companies that I've worked in would wear Panerais. And it was such a striking watch because of that bold face, that crown guard, and it was just so different compared to the Rolexes and Omegas that I saw in the past. And I was really attracted to it. Unfortunately, back then I couldn't, you know, afford to buy one. So I ended up buying like TW Steels and other oversized watches. But finally being able to, to afford one, putting it on my wrist and admiring it now is really uh, a joy that's hard to compare with anything else. So when you work hard at something and you actually achieve it by putting in work, it's so much more meaningful and it's so much more gratifying than it just being handed to you on a silver platter. So this one is my Panerai. Panerai, I even forgot what it's called. I think it's called like the PAM 244 or something, but it's a really nice watch. Now the fifth watch in my collection is something that I haven't featured yet on my channel uh, and it will actually debut here and I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's pronounced Jeje Le Coup, but I just feel that saying Jaeger feels so much more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a JLC or a Jaeger, it's the Reverso. So I actually bought this quite recently because I saw that you could actually engrave this. It's called the Reverso because if you do not want to see like the watch face, so this is the watch face, you press uh, or you, you can actually slide this one out and then when you turn it around, there's this like gold space where you can actually have something engraved. So you can put your motto, you can put your symbol, you can put like your name and commemorate it. I really think this is like one of the best uh, engagement or wedding watches that you can get. You can do like a his or hers and then put the date of your wedding or something. So this is a really nice, elegant, and classic and iconic watch from JLC and really happy to have it uh, in my collection. So yeah, so this is this is going to debut on my channel or going to appear on my watch channel 
very soon. So again, JLC Reversal. The last watch that I want to share with you guys for today's video is one of my favorite G-Shocks. And I told you that I'm a huge anime fan, I'm a huge anime geek, and I really feel that every guy, and, and this is something that a lot of watch guys on YouTube will say, that every guy should own at least or have the pleasure of owning at least one G-Shock because they're really indestructible, they're super functional, and they look dope. Uh, this one is Dragon Ball Z uh, limited edition G-Shock and, and I, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. Uh, my two favorite animes have always been Gundam and Dragon Ball. So I couldn't pass the opportunity to own this piece even though it looks like a toy and it looks so I don't know, novel and immature, but yeah, I enjoy wearing it because it's Dragon Ball. So this one is just a piece that I couldn't resist again because of my fanhood or fandom or how do you call this, my love for Dragon Ball. So yeah, those are just seven of the watches that I wanted to share with you guys today from my collection. Uh, if you guys want to see more watches and if you want to see more watch unboxings and reviews, please do check out my YouTube channel that's all about watches. And apart from that, uh, I will be doing like my entire watch collection video on my watch channel in the coming weeks ahead. So watch out for that video. Make sure that you guys check the channel out, give it a subscribe, and of, for, and of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with me down below which of the watches that you guys saw you love the most or you could connect with the most. And like what I mentioned, please do watch out for my watch sale or watch auction. I'll be posting it on my Facebook page really soon uh, with the hopes of raising more funds to put into our donation and relief drive uh, for the people affected heavily by the storm that hit the Philippines recently. And that said, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.